with the Enterprise project put to bed. Going to do a little relatively quick work along the lines of uh, miniature painting. Well, it's not really a, it's a miniature, but it's not very small. What we've got here is the Eldar Avatar of War from Warhammer 40,000. This is the Forge World resin version, which actually stands about twice the size of the older version. I picked this one up off eBay and had to reattach both the blade and hilt of the sword. It's currently primered in black, which is how it came from, to me. The trick will be making this one look like it's described in game. I do like the detail on this one, right down to the fact that the uh, end of his loincloth is actually burning. This guy is supposed to be hot. In fact, described as having molten metal underneath. There's a lot of detail here going to be a interesting little paintwork. All right, this stage, the first coat of colors on. Yeah, it may look a little odd, the whole thing covered in Averland Sunset from Citadel, but the idea here is the undersuit, if you will, is molten metal. So I've got that drying. Now I'll hit it with some transparent red to bring out the details. And then we'll work on bringing the metal to life. Okay. The transparent red coat is now down. Granted, this is going to wind up more red than the orange I was looking for, but I'm not complaining. Need to let this sit for a bit, and then it'll be time to start working on the metallics. Now, what I've done here is I've taken some brass. Well, technically... They call it Balthazar gold, but it's a dark, dark gold. And dry brushed the whole figure. At this point, it's time to pick out the hair, touch up the loincloth, and do some detail work. Definitely need to do something, though, because my, my, my son is, is accused this one of looking more cornate than uh, Eldar. All right, here we are after the latest stage. Went in. I did the uh, main in that same yellow I used for the base coat. Only I used a uh, teak wash to bring out its detail. I may go back in and dry brush it with a brighter yellow just to make it pop a little more. These darker areas, what I did is I took Citadel's transparent black and used it as a wash to darken things up and bring out the detail. All in all, I am very happy with how this is looking. I haven't decided if I'm going to detail anything in the uh, loincloth yet or not. Went in and picked out some of the uh, iconography on his chest using the same uh, transparent black. I'm really liking the look. I may go in and pick out his eyes in bright yellow too, just to make them pop some more. And of course, 
that hand needs to be much, much more red because this is, after all, the avatar of the bloody-handed god. We're nearly there, though. All right. Finished up with detail painting. And, well, we're going to call the uh, Eldar Avatar of War finished. I went in with the transparent black and painted in the boots, hip plates, shoulder pads, just to, to just to bring out a little difference in color from the overall gold and red that we were getting. Went in and picked out all the little gems in green. Then I did the runes on his sword in uh, in yellow to help make him stand out again. Decided his hands were red enough to fit the bloody-handed god. All in all, I am very, very pleased with how this guy turned out. As you can see, he's got a very menacing stance. I wouldn't want to see him coming across the battlefield at me. But before I start rambling, I'll put some stills at the end of this, and thank you all for watching.